Radial and ulnar loop fingerprints can be really hard to tell the difference. So I'm going to explain the difference between a radial loop fingerprint and an ulnar loop fingerprint. The names radial and ulnar actually have to do with the two bones that are in your forearm. So in your forearm, there are two bones pretty much side by side. The radial, or excuse me, the radius bone is on your thumb side. And if you think of a radius, at least I always think of a circle. And so the idea is that the radius bone is what actually helps to rotate or move in a circular motion your hand or your wrist. So I can flip it back and forth and it's my radius bone that's moving. The ulnar bone is on the pinky side. It actually tends to be a defensive bone. So if you have a defensive wound, these are bones that are typically broken. So this is your, excuse me, ulna bone, radius bone. Sorry, sometimes I have a hard time because it's then radial loop and ulnar loop. So the difference has to do with the hand that you're looking at. If you're looking at a loop fingerprint on the right hand versus the left hand. And while you might be a detective actually in a crime scene dusting for prints, and you probably would have no idea if it was a person's right hand or left hand, it's the idea that when you have a suspect and you take their fingerprints, you can actually categorize them as a radial loop or an ulnar loop. Okay, so I'm going to show you on the board behind me. Forgive me because I have to turn my back to you for a little bit. Okay, so let's start with the right hand. So if you kind of pretend you take your right hand and you make a fingerprint, we know that loop fingerprints are defined by the fact that they enter and exit the fingerprint on the same side. So we can have a loop that enters and exits from the left side of a fingerprint versus a loop that might enter and exit from the right side of the fingerprint. So if this was my right hand, so if I kind of put my right hand up here, if a loop enters and exits from the left side on my right hand, the way I'm giving a high five to the board, the left side is actually my radius bone. That means that that would make that a radial loop. Okay, so it's my right hand, it's entering and exiting the same size, same side of my arm that the radius is on. Remember, radius is on your thumb to rotate. So that becomes a radial loop. So think, so just think it's the thumb side of your hand versus this loop right here, which is entering and exiting from the right side of the fingerprint. That is actually the side of my pinky, which is the side where my ulna bone is. So therefore we call it an ulnar loop. And then if we reverse the gears and think about our left hand, it's the same concept, but you will notice that when it enters and exits from the left side of a fingerprint, it's now going to be an ulnar loop versus a radial loop. Okay, so let's take a look at the left hand. So if I take my left hand and put it up here like a fingerprint, okay, I can have it enter or exit from the left side. Now on my left hand though, the left side is actually on my pinky side, so that means that is where my ulna bone is, becoming an ulnar loop. And then on my left hand, if the fingerprint is entering and exiting from the right side of the print, that now becomes the thumb side of my hand, or where my radius bone is. So if it's entering and exiting from the right hand side, if I put my hand up there, that's where the radius bone is. That now becomes a radial loop. And remember that is on the thumb side of your hand. So many times when I'm giving students assessments, worksheets, tests, or quizzes, and I ask them about radial and ulnar loops, a lot of times I will see them basically slapping their hand on the paper to figure out if it's the thumb side or the pinky side. And don't worry, anytime I give you a worksheet or a test or a quiz, I will tell you, let's pretend this is a right hand or let's pretend this is a left hand. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, or you could also just go to Google or YouTube and kind of type in your question, how to tell the difference between a radial and an ulnar loop. Thanks.